Good morning, everyone. It's Alara. It is a Saturday morning, probably about 1.30 by now. I don't remember what day it is. October 24th, I think now, something like that. Um, but uh, I got in my Lowry stand. Uh, and I, I, I saw that there was a few unboxing videos of Lowry stands. I didn't watch them yet because I wanted to be surprised and I like to figure things out on my own. But uh, I also just wanted to do an unboxing because I haven't done one yet. And uh, so sorry if this is kind of repetitive, but there you have it. Just in case you haven't seen a Lowry stand. So I'm not prepared. I need scissors. Um, this is from lovecrafts.com uh, here in the U.S. And I looked into ordering it directly from Lowry, but their shipping was pretty expensive. And the conversion rate from the euro to the dollar was just, it was going to put it well over what I wanted to spend. So I'll try not to cut myself. Nope, I failed. I cut myself. Oh well. Alright. So. Now this box is huge. Oh, okay. So I guess it's got... I can't really see what I'm seeing through the camera because I have you in the holder. So it looks like it comes with... I don't think we'll see that. Catalog from Lovecrafts. Nice. Ooh. And a skein of paint paint box floss. Not heard of them yet. Soft. Cool. Alright. Packing slip. That. Oh my gosh, it is wedged in there. There we go. Okay. So. Now, I was really kind of wanting to get one of the colored ones, but... I'm kind of cheap, so I didn't want to, uh, I don't want to shell out the money for it. So this is, I'm sorry, I forgot to mute the baby monitor. My husband coughing up there. Alright, I am going to pause, because apparently I'm going to ride the struggle bus with actually getting this box open, because it is not taped, it is glued shut. So I will be right back. Okay, so I got the end of it open. And all right, so that's it. That's that's what comes in the box. So I guess this is the yep, that's the clamp. And I guess there's some wax that you're supposed to use to care for it. But they didn't offer that unfortunately through Lovecrafts and I apologize for the crinkling it's an unboxing it's kind of inevitable I think so there's that oh you guys can't even see that sorry not sure what that is A giant allen wrench that's it for that should have marked off on the table where you can see. Right. So pretty simple construction from the looks of it. All right. And there's like a protective piece here. Oh my gosh, it's really stuck on. Ugh, jeez. Now it's not sticky on the metal. That definitely does not want to come off of there. I think I'm 
just gonna not worry about that side. It'll be blue on the bottom. does not say I guess this is actually the bottom because there's maybe there's this screw stand by I'm gonna read the instructions real quick okay so normally my advice to myself is read the instructions before you start working I should have followed my own advice. So this blue film should uh, actually be left on the underside, which is this part, um, just to help protect whatever, because this is just a slab of metal, really, um, because this is, I can't see what you're seeing. See how it's got that slant? It actually sinks down into here like this. Ooh, yeah. And these are really, and this fits really tight in there. So I got to make sure that it's very level going in there. There we go. Try not to blind you with my overhead lights. It actually says to use the screw for this part. I was kind of hoping I could get that hand tightened down, but I don't think it's going to work. I think it needs, yeah. Sorry, I think I'm knocking on the camera a little bit. Now, the hex screw, that, or the hex, the Allen wrench that came with this does not fit in that, in that screw very well. So, like, I don't know if you can see, that's not even... can't get that in there to, to turn it. Let me see if I can find a different Allen wrench. Okay guys, no Allen wrench, but I did find a Phillips head that kind of fits a little better than what I've got. I gotta make sure it's set evenly. This is frustratingly harder than I thought it was going to be since it was a screw. think this would be easier to do. Okay. There we go. So I'm just holding it with my thumb so that I can turn the base or the the top here. Oy, oy, oy. I feel like that was way harder than it should have been. Okay. So it's just hand tightened on there but That'll do for me. It's not going to go anywhere. And I can always have the husband help tighten it down later. Alright. I wish I could see. You guys can't see that. Okay. Now. I don't know what this little guy is for. Yes, I do. It's the pin. Okay. So I guess this... Oh, 
Sorry about that loud. So all I did was, this is the lever and that slammed this down. So I'm not really sure. I would assume there's holes. Okay, you just use this under here. And that's it to set the height. Okay. Put this little guy back on. And, okay. This guy just tightens it down so it doesn't pivot. Plastic stuff on here. That stuff's actually kind of awful. And then, yeah. It just slides on here and tightens down. Alright, you gotta loosen this. Yeah, I can definitely see why you'd want to keep that lubed up. So that's pretty stiff. And stick whatever frame or Q snap or hoop in there and then tighten it back down. And then that allows it to rotate. Okay, so pretty, sorry, that's, I'm probably loud. Um, that's pretty simple construction, relatively. All right, so let me see if I can get this set up on the floor somewhere. And see if I can actually get it to record how I want it to record. Okay, so I've got it set up on the floor. Not underneath any kind of furniture weighing it down, I'm just standing on it to be honest because I live out of my office chair so I can't really I don't have lighting in any kind of area where I have a couch or you know sitting chair or anything like that but I'm really excited because I'm going to be able to do this without killing my back I think and you guys will be able to see I'm super excited all right so I think I'm going to Cut this off, and thank you so much for watching my hot mess of a first unboxing video. Um, and if you've joined me before, um, thanks so much for stopping by again. If if you're new and <laughs> don't mind the the, uh, the random hot mess of a unboxing that that was, please check out my other other videos, um, and uh, give a like and subscribe if you if you can. All right. Well, thanks so much, guys. Enjoy your journey. See you later.